Today, we have some exciting updates on Android 15 and Samsung's One UI 7.0. Google has officially released the stable version of Android 15 and Samsung is gearing up to launch its One UI 7.0. In this video, we'll dive into the release timeframes, new features, and everything you need to know about both operating systems. Let's get started. Earlier this month, Google made Android 15 stable version available through the Android Open Source Project, AOSP. What does this mean? Well, this is a big step because it allows manufacturers like Samsung to begin working on integrating Android 15 with their custom user interfaces like One UI 7.0 for Galaxy devices. However, while Samsung hasn't given a concrete date for its One UI 7.0 beta release, Google is way ahead in its schedule. According to a report from Android Headlines, Google plans to roll out Android 15 to Pixel devices starting October 15, 2024. This includes Pixel 6 and newer devices, so if you own one of those, you're in luck. You might be wondering why Android 15 didn't debut with the Pixel 9 series, as is usually the case with Google's flagship launches. Well, this year is different. The Pixel 9 was released two months earlier than usual, but Android 15 wasn't quite ready at that time. So while the Pixel 9 runs on Android 14 for now, it will soon get upgraded to Android 15 along with other supported Pixel devices. Android 15 is packed with new features designed to enhance user experience. These range from improved system stability to better privacy settings, enhanced multitasking, and refined user interfaces. However, if you're a Samsung user, it gets even more exciting because One UI 7.0 builds on top of Android 15 and brings massive new changes. Samsung's One UI 7.0 beta program might kick off right before the Samsung Developer Conference, SKC 2024 on October 3. 2024. This follows the same pattern as last year when Samsung launched the One UI 6.0 beta right before SDC 2023. Although the beta release was expected earlier this month, Samsung decided to delay it. According to leaks, the beta for One UI 7.0 will be available in countries like China, Germany, India, South Korea, the UK, and the US. But remember Samsung's plans can change, so stay tuned for updates. Now let's talk about the exciting stuff, the new features coming with One UI 7.0. We have a detailed list of One UI 7.0 features and it looks like Samsung is bringing some major changes. Here are some of the most anticipated features. New app icons. Samsung is revamping the look of system apps with fresh icons. New background interface. There's a redesigned wallpaper interface making customization even easier. Control area on lock screen. The lock screen now has a control area at the bottom, making it easier to access key features. Bigger shortcut icons on the lock screen. Samsung is also adjusting the size of the lock screen shortcut icons, making them larger for better usability. One of the most talked about features is the ability to merge or separate the notification area and quick settings panel. This gives users the flexibility to customize their device's interface. Additionally, Samsung is introducing a pill-shaped UI element in the upper left corner of the notification bar that can display ongoing activities of various sizes for both screens. Users will also be able to create large size app folders on the home screen, making it easier to organize apps. Samsung will likely open the One UI 7.0 beta program for the Galaxy S24 series by the end of this month. As mentioned earlier, the beta could launch in multiple regions, but it's best to keep an eye on official announcements. That's it for today. Android 15 is on its way to Pixel devices and Samsung's One UI 7.0 is shaping up to be a game changer with tons of exciting features. What are your thoughts on these updates? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, see you in the next video. Hey, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim 
which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go U25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.